Yo! Yo, it's me, it's me, it's CSCOTT, baby, and I'm back with my review of the 1985 movie, Rocky IV, starring Sylvester Stallone, Talia Shire, Dolph Lundgren, and is directed by Sylvester Stallone, once again. Now, this came out the same year as Rambo 2, first, Rambo First Blood Part 2. This was, no one was high in the mountain at this time. Two different movies coming out the same year, so... Yeah. Of course, as always, we start off with the replay of the previous film, Eevee's of Club and Lang, and then we see the ending of the previous film where they had a little fight. It still cuts out. We don't see who wins. Like I said, we don't find out till Creed. Excuse me. Who wins that fight? Um... And the big thing with this one is that Rocky has all but officially retired from the boxing world. It's not really said, uh, but he comes home, it's Polly's birthday, they show a robot. And then we have uh, Apollo Creed in his pool with a couple of dogs, which I remember I see. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sitting there watching this. And I saw two golden retrievers in the pool, and I'm like, when did Rocky get golden retrievers? And then I realized it was Apollo's pool. And we get this, there's this Russian boxer by the name of Ivan Drago, who wants to come to America, who comes to America and wants to fight Rocky Balboa. But he gets Apollo Creed. Apollo decides he wants to fight him because, well, it's, he says it's because he wants to, you know, take this guy down and ask, but really... It's because he wants to prove he's still got it. You know. As far as we know, he hasn't been in a boxing fight since Rocky II. As far as we you know, because we haven't, you know, we haven't been told of another boxing fight that Apollo Creed was in or anything. We just assumed that's the last time he was in a fight. Turn out the yawn. Ugh. So... Apollo Creed fights Ivan Drago, and you get this big old thing where he goes, I'm living in America, with James Brown actually, Brown actually being there, little thing. And then Apollo gets his ass royally pummeled by this guy, which they claim is not doing any steroids, he's not taking any, you know, you know, he's just very strong. Bullshit, but yeah. And Apollo... I don't know if many people catch this, but, like, Rocky has a chance to throw in the towel and doesn't because Apollo tells him not to. So one promise he makes him make, don't throw in the towel, and as a result, Apollo dies. This may not sit well with people, but really, what else could Apollo have offered in this franchise going forward? Not much. Sure, he could have been there in Rocky V, but really, he would have been a. If he see, I thought this before. If he had been in Rocky Five, that could have been another easy out that Rocky could take to get money back. And that's not what the movie would, was about. So the fact that, that Apollo wasn't around to help Rocky kind of worked. Apollo's death even pushed us forward, forward the narrative. I mean, you could have him be survived but crippled. Sure, but I don't know. It doesn't really. I don't. It doesn't matter to me either way. Have them alive, have them dead, doesn't matter. But this is what sets Rocky forward to uh, fight Ivan Drago. And this is where we get the formula once again. Rocky wants to fight. Okay, so something happens. Rocky wants to fight someone. Adrian says, no! And then eventually she comes around, he fights the guy, he wins. Standard Rocky formula, which gets broken in Rocky V, by the way. But, <clears throat> um, the whole thing with Apollo's death is that, like, I had something and I lost it. 
Oh, yeah, okay, so here's the thing. Apollo is killed in the ring at her funeral, whatever. And then the next thing I start talking about a fight between Rocky and Drago. Okay, no. The next thing I should talk about is the court case that Ivan Drago is going to be involved in for murder. Ivan Drago murdered someone. And in fact, okay, so I always, I always thought, and I'll probably talk about this in the Creed 2 review. I always thought that after Rocky IV, Ivan Drago got arrested and went to prison for what he did. Like, they just kept him out of prison so Rocky could have the fight. Like, there was money involved, something, that he was kept out because of the fight. And after Rocky won, then Drago went to prison. But Creed 2 shows us a completely different story with what happened after Rocky IV. This sort of irks me. Because here's the thing. Drago should have went to prison at some point. He murdered a man. Whether it was in a fight or not. Whether it was a sanctioned fight or not. He murdered someone. That's murder. He killed someone. Apollo Creed died in the ring. Ivan Drago murdered someone. That's murder. And he gets no punishment. Whatsoever. I know it's a movie, but think here. The Rocky movies have always been somewhat grounded. In some way, shape, or form, they've been grounded. This doesn't make any sense. There's no way that after a murder, Rocky would get a fight with Drago. Drago would be in prison. Locked away for the rest of his goddamn life for murder. There's no fight against him. There's no getting redemption. He's in jail. That's that. For being realistic, that's how it would go. It wouldn't be, oh, yeah, I'm going to fight Ivan Drago for, for Apollo. Be like, no. Yeah, I want to fight, fight Drago because of Apollo. You can't, Rock. He's in jail now. Oh, okay. Well, let's play the robot there, you know what I mean? See, that? that's my whole problem is, I love this movie, don't get me wrong, but it's always irked me that Ivan Drago got away scot-free with it. Now, it didn't bug me until Creed Two came out, I must mention, because I always figured after this fight, they never mentioned him again. Not even Rocky Five or anything. But I always figured that after the fight, he went to serve his jail sentence for what happened. Like, he was in jail. They came, they arrested him, and they said, okay, you got your fight, now you go to jail. As weird as that sounds. But I figured he went to jail for murder, which you rightly should have happened. But no, he got off scot free, it seems, and Creed 2 all but confirms this. <coughs> I'm just saying. Oh, okay. So, you know, I mentioned in Rocky 3 that Rocky 3 has my favorite montage that goes to the Rocky theme. This movie is my favorite montage, period. The heart's on fire, strong desire. We get like three montages all in all. We get the, the heart's on fire one, which is like the big, big one. And then we get one before that. It's metal. And then we get one early in the film after uh, Rocky and... Uh, Adrian have a fight, Rocky gets in the car, and we see flashbacks to the first three movies of the Rocky series through that song. There's no easy way out. There's no shortcut home. By Robert Tepper, which is a good song. I like the music in this, too. I haven't really talked about music. The score is great in these movies, but this one is, like, complete 80s. You can get the sort of over-the-top... Uh, villain type character with Drago. Rocky's an action hero. He literally saves. He, he, he literally like fights the, the Cold War, so to speak. And he unites Americans and Russians with one stupid little speech. If I could change, you could change, everyone could change. It's just like, it's so cheesy, it's so corny. But hey. Think about this. Still only had two movies come out this year. Rocky IV, Rambo First Blood Part Two, And both movies featured the Russians as enemies. I'm just saying.
But yeah, uh, um, in the fight with Drago, it's 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 montaged, you know, so it goes quick. So there's not really much to talk about. I will say Polly's little speech where he says, "Fucking step out of my body and be anyone. I want to be you." You know, man, corny. Yeah, sure. I hate that characters need to die to push the story forward, though. That's one little thing. Like in Rocky Three, Mick had Mickey had to die, and in this one, it's Apollo. Did Apollo really have to die? Not really. He could have been paralyzed. And that probably could have pushed it forward more because, you know, Paulo could be in a coach or some I don't know. But, uh, but, yeah. And, okay, so, Rocky does this. Here's a thing that's confusing to me. They, Rocky agrees to fight Drago in Russia on Christmas Eve. Right, he leaves Adrian and Rocky Jr. behind. And he and Paulie and Tony, that was Apollo's trainer, they go to Russia and they start doing their thing because Adrian's against it. Then Adrian shows up so far, hot song, fire. Like literally, she shows up, they hug, and then it goes. Literally, what happens? And it makes you question. Like They show the kid at home with a couple other kids watching the fight. Who's watching the kid? The robot watching the kid? Is it Marianne Creed, Apollo's wife? We we know from Creed that there's, you know, some kind of problem between them after what happened. They're not 100%, you know, copacetic. So maybe not. So who's watching the kid? It can't be Bali. Maybe they got a babysitter, but it's never underlined. Like, oh, I I call the sitter. You know, the kid's not there. He's at home watching the the fight, which to me doesn't add up. Russian time versus American time. What kind of time? What kind of time zone are they on in Russia? A post a post over here, and even where where do they live? Are they still in Philadelphia? Are they still in in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia? What? What kind of time zone are they in versus Russia? And for him to be up watching this at what time in the night? Well, two other kids nonetheless. That always bugs me. But yeah, I always like the line that Rocky says before his vision. I just want to say what that to my kid and should be at home sleeping. I love you, kid. He's like, well, if he's supposed to be sleeping while you're talking to him. Because <laughs> he knows he's watching. You know, um. And yeah, like the, the robot. Hey, where's the poly? You don't see it in that, you know. The one image I like, though, is when Rocky comes home. And, you know, Polly has been waiting because it's his birthday. He's got this little birthday hat and a cigar in his mouth. It's a funny image, to be honest. Guys, I love this movie. Uh, originally, when it's, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. It's one of his, but no. I'm going to give it a 9. A 9 out of 10. Because it's, it's, it's a very good film. But there are flaws. And just like... Overall, like they say that, um, you know, I haven't drug all the new steroids. Like Popeye, like your Popeye. He eats his spinach, but no, they show he's using steroids. So, I don't know. It gets a 9 out of 10 for me. So, what are your thoughts on Rocky Ford? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.